Hey yo everyone, I'm JP and today we're back to go over another round of great deals that you can pick up for your Nintendo Switch this weekend. For today we're sticking to games on sale under $5 and we have a new game showcase to highlight at the end as well for one of my most anticipated indie games of the year. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing to join the crew and hop into the convo down below. Let me know if you plan to pick anything up or if you picked up anything new recently that you've been enjoying or maybe not so much. Either way, I'd love to hear about it. Welcome back to the crew, thank you as always. Let's go ahead and get started. Stay safe and enjoy the video. Alright, we'll start today with 3000 Duel, which is a really gritty and dark Metroidvania for one player. It has a roughly 1.2 gig download and offers dozens of hours of gameplay. The sound design along with the art and animations really do make the game stand out from the rest of the games in the genre, and the boss battles are a lot of fun as well. The combat is fast and fluid with tight and responsive controls which makes the game a joy to play through and right now you can pick it up for just 449 marked out 70% matching an all time low until the first. Up next we have Blossom Tales The Sleeping King which is a Zelda like single player top down adventure title with a download around 440 megabytes and the story should last about 10 hours or so to wrap up. Now the world is large and explorable, the dungeons and combat feel like you'd expect with familiar looking locations and recognizable gadgets, and the game knows this so they never take themselves too seriously. It has a gorgeous and colorful presentation with music that fits perfectly for the genre, and right now you can pick it up for just 374 marked down 75%, again matching an all time low until the 13th. Clash Force is a single player 2D arcade style platformer with a small download around 50 megabytes and while the main game mode is only about an hour long, it is a game that you can play over and over, plus it has 3 playable characters for a bit of variety as well. It features an auto fire button so you won't have to worry about icing down your thumbs after a game session and that's always appreciated. And there's a difficulty slider which does alter the game quite a bit so if you find it a bit too hard, you can play around with that and it should help out. Now the game will save your progress, however you'll lose any weapon upgrades that you've acquired when you hop back in later. It's another game that has that really retro feel and if you're interested you can pick it up for just $1.99, marked out 60%, again matching an all time low until the 30th. Next we have Cosmos Bit which is a single player platform adventure title and this one has an incredibly retro look just like our last game. In fact, the main character reminded me a little of the dude from Air Fortress from back on the original Nintendo. Even the sound effects they use in the game really hit that nostalgic itch as well, and at its core it's a metroidvania that takes about 3 or 4 hours to wrap up. The game offers a wide variety of cool locations and different weapons with special items that you can find, and many of these will be needed to blow up a wall or traverse to a different area that you couldn't reach before. And even if the game does look pretty simple, it can be a bit challenging, especially on some of the boss battles. Right now you can pick it up for just $1.99, again marked down 60% and the deal ends on the 30th. Down in Bermuda is a single player puzzle style adventure game with a download around 850 megabytes and it offers roughly 2-3 to three hours of main story gameplay and it's centered around a lost pilot named Milton as he tries to solve each of the different puzzles on these different islands in order to make his way back home. Now this is one of the lesser known games on the list and it is a bit of a hidden gem if you're into the genre and right now you can pick it up for just $1.99, marked down 90%, again matching an all time low until the 11th of September. Up next we have Glyph which is a single player puzzle style adventure game with a download around 2.5 gigs and it offers roughly 2-6 to six hours of main story gameplay but the replay value is through the roof as you'll have over 80 different challenging levels plus a ton of bonus stages tied to the different game modes like speed runs or time trials. It's definitely tough but it rewards you for pushing through and right now it's on sale for just $1.99 marked down 80% and matching an all time low until the 31st. Make sure to check this one out. Kira Blaster is a single player retro shooter that has a roughly 80 megabyte download and offers about 5 to 6 hours of gameplay on average. Now the game has a mechanic where every time you die you're transported back to the hospital and basically you can upgrade and become stronger and stronger for the next run. Now as you blast through the enemies and bosses in each stage you'll earn money that you can then use to buy upgrades or stat bonuses. It has a pretty comedic story as well to add a little bit of depth and if you're interested in Kiro Blaster be sure to pick it up before the deal ends on the 10th. It's marked down 70% to just $2.99. Next we have The Last Campfire which is a gorgeous puzzle style adventure game offering roughly 6 hours of gameplay on average and the download comes in around 2.5 gigs. 
Now the story is incredibly emotional and it really grips you in so don't be surprised if you end up finishing the entire game in one playthrough. There's no combat, just light exploration and puzzle solving so it's a relaxing experience as well with a beautiful art design and great music. If you're interested in The Last Campfire, make sure to grab it up before the deal ends on the 6th. It's marked down 80% to just $2.99. Lost Castle is a fun roguelike here on the Switch with a cartoonish look and it features both online and local co-op, making it a great value if you want something fun to play with some friends. It has a download around 850 megabytes and offers more than 30 hours of gameplay and the online has always worked perfectly for the crew whenever we tried to play together. Now when you start the game you're given a few different weapon options and then you can customize your character as well which is pretty cool. And the gameplay is a blast with fun combat and cool and unique bosses. It is incredibly difficult so be prepared to get whooped up on for a while before you start to dish it back. But there are a ton of cool weapons and armor that you can find while you're playing through. And right now it's on sale again for just $1.99. Mark down 80% until the third matching an all time low. Up next we have Oceanhorn Monster of Uncharted Seas which is a single player action adventure title that looks and plays very similar to older Zelda games from the N64 or GameCube days. It has a download around 500 megabytes and the story should last about 10 to 12 hours to wrap up. Now along the way there are environmental puzzles to solve, new items and gadgets to find and the combat feels just like those Zelda games that I mentioned a second ago. It looks gorgeous here on the console, it runs buttery smooth, the soundtrack is top tier as well, and right now you can pick it up for just $374, marked down 75% and matching an all time low until the 14th. Rico is a first person roguelike shooter that features online co-op for two people, and again I personally tested the online and it works great. The game has tight and responsive controls and does feature motion aiming if you like that kind of thing, and it plays a lot like Payday if you remember those games. In each different level you have set missions that you have to complete and then you move on while trying not to get shot of course. If you do happen to fail a mission though it will send you back to the beginning and then you start a new path. If you're interested in Rico right now it's on sale for just $3.99 marked down 80% and the deal ends on the 5th. Just keep in mind that you'll need around 5 gigs for the install. Up next we have Rogue Heroes Ruins of Tassos which is a top down adventure game again that plays a lot like classic top down Zelda titles from the 90s. It has a download around 1.8 gigs and offers nearly 20 hours of main story gameplay on average plus you have the ability to team up with 3 other people online and play the entire game together. In addition to all of that there's a town building system that adds even more depth to an already content filled game and right now you can pick it up for just $4.99 marked down 75% with the deal ending on the 2nd again an all time low. Wandersong is a very unique 2D platformer where music can be used as both a tool and a weapon. The musical moments act like a mini game of sorts and the way they implemented it into the story and gameplay is great. In this one we play as a young bard tasked with putting an end to an invasion of ghosts in our hometown and it offers more than 10 hours of gameplay with gorgeous colorful environments and memorable characters making it a great value whenever you can catch it on sale. Right now it's marked back down to $4.99 matching an all time low with the deal ending on the 3rd and the download comes in around 2.3 gigs. Within the Blade is an incredible 2D action platformer that prioritizes fun combat and fast gameplay. It has a download under 200 megabytes and offers maybe 10 hours of gameplay with multiple difficulty settings which range from hard to insanely difficult. The good news though is that it has tight and responsive controls, the art and animations are all done very well, and you even have a crafting system in place with a ton of recipes that will help out along your journey. There are a few other RPG-like mechanics thrown into the mix, and I would highly recommend you check this out if you haven't played yet. Right now it's on sale for just $3.29, marked down 70% and matching an all-time low until the 30th. The eternal dawn of our penances.
Sleep, my child. Sleep. All right, everyone, that wraps up today's video. Thank you all for hanging out. Let me know down below if you plan to pick any of these up or if you want to wait for a sale down the road. Thank you to all the channel members and patrons and everyone that comes through and watches. You all are legendary. We really do appreciate it.